The other starting unit you receive in Caveman the Cosmos is a stone thrower. This is your first military unit, and your first ranged unit. This represents early humans' ability to pick up and throw rocks, bones, shells, sticks, and other dense hard objects with their hands to use as projectile weapons. This was done to deter predators and other human enemies, and in some cases, to hunt small game. Throwing stones in modern times is often connected to civil unrest, where violent protesters use pieces of rubble to fight against police or soldiers, or to damage property. They have caused injury and even death when tossed at moving cars from an overpass. A safer alternative is throwing balls, beanbags, or flying discs in the context of a sport or game. Many modern sports use a ball of some type, often thrown by a pitcher. The key to throwing is maximizing both speed and therefore power, as well as accuracy. Humans are the only species that can do this. Chimpanzees are stronger and more athletic than us, but a trained adult chimp can only throw a projectile at around 20 miles per hour, whereas the fastest humans have been recorded throwing a ball up to 105 miles per hour. Even children as young as 12 and 13 routinely throw around 50 to 60 miles per hour. Neil Thomas Roche of Harvard University performed a study where he found the key to human throwing is in our shoulders and waist. We twist our waist to increase throwing distance, and the tendons, ligaments, and muscles crossing our shoulders store elastic energy to be released in a throw, propelling an object and producing the fastest motion the human body is capable of. Our bipedal stance frees up our hands to hold and throw objects. While the dexterous nature of our shoulders comes from our brachiating or tree-swinging primate ancestors, it wasn't until Homo erectus when our anatomy changed to increase the power of our throwing. Our waist expanded, our shoulders became positioned lower on the torso, and the humerus or upper arm bone twisted. Additionally, our binocular stereo vision gives us the depth perception to focus on our target, increasing accuracy. Parallel to throwing is developing the hand-eye coordination to safely catch an object in flight. This allows objects to be passed from one individual to another over a longer distance, either horizontally or vertically. Throwing multiple objects from one hand to the other repeatedly is known as juggling. Humans would build on this throwing ability, creating tools such as slings and spears to hunt more efficiently. Without claws or sharp teeth, we learn to use the environment around us to defend ourselves, and to collect more sources of meat. Increased meat consumption caused our bodies and brains to grow, and allowed us to have more children. And when throwing was no longer required for procuring food or protection, we continued the practice for recreation and exercise in a myriad of forms. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.